What's up YouTube? How are you doing today? Chana D, your Techno Dad here, and in today's video we're going to be checking out the May 2018 update of the Xbox One X. It has a whole bunch of cool features that you need to know about, and we're going to get into it right after the jump. And I'm back. Now if you're new to the channel and you want to learn about 4K, home theater and audio products and how to set them up properly, you should consider subscribing because I'm here to help. And don't forget to hit that bell so you get notified when I do a live stream and answer your questions or when the next video gets released. Well now that that housekeeping's out of the way, let's get into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so here we are, May 2018. We're about midway through 2018, and Microsoft came out with a couple of updates, or actually one update with a couple of features that actually kind of point toward their anticipation of HDMI 2.1. So what is it you say that I'm talking about? Well, first and foremost, they have added for the Xbox One X, and I believe the Xbox One S console, 1440p resolution at 120 frames per second. Now this is the first time this has ever been done on a console, so this is kind of big news, especially for gamers out there. Now I've been playing a lot of Call of Duty WW2. I just started a gaming channel. Uh, I'll put a link down in the description for you guys to go ahead and subscribe to that. And I've actually been playing uh, Call of Duty on a 32 inch BenQ gaming monitor and not the TV. I've been playing on the TV as well, but I'm getting a much better experience. It's a 4K HDR screen, uh, 4K 60, and it's, it's, I, I'm getting a better experience on that than I am on the OLED. Of course, that's 65 inch, so it's pretty huge. Um, better experience than the TCL R6 and better experience than the Sony X900E. Now, the one thing that this little gaming monitor doesn't have is the cool big Dolby Atmos uh, sound setup. So, you know, you gotta give and take, right? I guess. Anyway, what's the big deal? So 1440p translates into a 2560 by 1440 resolution. Now it's also known as Quad HD because it actually is four times the resolution of 1280 by 720 and it's also been referred to as WQHD. So what's the big deal you ask? Well console gaming has always kind of not been as good of an experience, especially graphically, compared to PC games where they can run insane frame rates. So adding 120 hertz frame rate to the Xbox One S and Xbox One X is a step in the right direction. Now I mentioned HDMI 2.1. If you don't know the specs of HDMI 2.1, I'll put a link down in the description to my video about that or a card up top. Now basically HDMI 2.1 will allow resolutions of 8K and up to 10K, but as far as refresh rates go, we'll be able to get 8K at 60 frames per second and 4K at 120 frames per second or 120 hertz refresh rate, whatever you want to call it, same thing. So this is what I'm interested in because now it looks like Microsoft is preparing. We're halfway through 2018 and we do not have any TVs that support HDMI 2.1. But Microsoft is preparing half a year in advance for when the 2018 TVs you know, get announced that hopefully will have HDMI 2.1. Now, I would say majority manufacturers by 2020 should have HDMI 2.1 in all their TVs, but who knows what's going to happen. At least Microsoft is on the ball with this and getting ready to kind of transition us into that you know, new HDMI 2.1 spec. So I think this is really cool. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. All right, so now let's move to the second part of the update that's very cool and interesting, and that is the support for FreeSync 2. Now FreeSync is an AMD proprietary, um, I don't know if it's software or just kind of like their thing, but Nvidia has the same idea and it's called G-Sync. And basically it is a variable refresh rate. Now, variable refresh rate was one of the biggest topics discussed when the specs for HDMI 2.1 came out. And this is huge for gamers because then you will actually have an accurate rendition of how many frames per second the monitor and the gaming console are actually like, they're like in tune and in sync, hence free sync or 
you know, Nvidia's version G-Sync, it's the same thing. So it's gonna, you know, make the gaming experience that much better. Everything's gonna look smoother with less screen tearing. So all good for gamers, right? And all good because Microsoft is already kind of preparing everyone for these things that are supposed to be coming out 2019. Got my fingers crossed and we'll see because I might have to upgrade my OLED. Ugh. That's gonna be an expensive endeavor. Not really <laughs> looking forward to too much of that. So now you're asking me, well, Techno Dad, how do you know any of this stuff works? I actually do not have a TV or gaming monitor that supports 1440p 120 or FreeSync 2. However, my good buddy Jolster G4K does. So he let me borrow some footage from his channel and I'll put links down in the description for his channel and his videos definitely go say what's up to Jolster and uh, you know, check out some videos, subscribe to him, you know, all that good stuff. But basically, as you can see here in the Xbox One X menu, you see 1440p and you see a refresh rate of 120. So now the TV that he has that we both know that can do this is the Samsung NU8000. I'll put a link down in the description for that. Now, of course, not all of them have it. You have to pick the 55 inch variant or above. Okay, anything smaller than the 55 inch NU8000 will not have the uh, 1440p 120 hertz uh, support or the FreeSync 2 support. And that thing costs around $1,000. Now, if you're like looking just to check it out and see what's up, Another option is the Samsung QLED gaming monitor, and I believe it's half the price. It's $500, and it's a curved monitor. It's got HDR, 1440p with uh, support of up to 144 hertz or 144 frames per second, and FreeSync 2, and it's about 500 bucks, but it's only a 27 inch gaming monitor. So, you know, right now, as all this technology is still very brand new, all these monitors are still expensive so you're gonna need Xbox one X and a gaming monitor so you're looking at a thousand dollars there for both of those items or Xbox one X and a new thousand dollar TV so you're looking at 1500 bucks just to check out this new stuff this new refresh rate variable refresh rate so it's really just up to you guys if you want to take that plunge let me know down in the comments if you'd like me to check any of those things out the Samsung TV or the Samsung gaming monitor now the update had some other features like being able to uh, capture gameplay onto the Xbox directly and now you'll be able to actually edit it in the Xbox itself before you upload it. Mm, those are kind of just, uh, for me, not so big of a deal. But this 120 frames per second at 1440p is pretty cool and so is the FreeSync 2 compatibility. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Is this a good step for Microsoft? Or do you think we're going to see any TVs with HDMI 2.1 in 2018? Let me know down in the comments or if you want to hit me up on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram or whatever social platform you like to use the most, go ahead and do so. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, go ahead, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel using the button in the middle of your screen. Once again, my name is Chana D. I'm your techno dad, and I'll see you next time.